So the biggest thing you want to focus on as far as color selection is I want something that's shad colored. Like this is the exact spoon we've got up on the slide. I think it's called hollow silver shad. So you can see it's got a little bit of reflective prism on it. So you've got a little bit of flash, but it's still kind of got a whitish color. And that's something I like in really deep water. Like when I'm fishing 40 to 60 feet, I want a little bit of white and a little bit of flash. And you can see this spoon comes with the two braided line hooks. So they're, they're not really a traditional circle hook, but they're more rounded than a, than a traditional hook. Having that braided line on there really gives you a lot of freedom of movement on that bait. And it allows those fish to get that hook very good. So when, <clears throat> if you can picture a bass, when they come up, they create the suction in their mouth. When they suck that bait in, they're actually, they may only suck the spoon in that far but this hook on this braided line is going to move with that water flow and you're going to get them back in the crushers. So you're going to have that little hook as far back in their throat as they can get it and you're going to get them hooked good uh, more often than not by having that on there. I never use a treble hook on this style spoon when I'm vertical jigging in the wintertime. And another added attraction, they've got the Mylar tinsel on each of those hooks. And when you're fishing it at a slow, steady, like just barely shaking it, I think it actually looks like a, you know, multiple bait fish down there on the bottom. Because a lot of times you'll catch two and they'll just nip that mylar and they'll have that hook. So that's a little added attraction for that backdrop spoon. Let's go on to the next slide and see what we got. All right, water temps, winter, early, and spring. My typical take on that is anytime the water temps get below the mid 50s. So from your fall transition, into your winter time is that 55 degree or colder water temp. And that's when you really get away from the stratification of late fall. You know, your lakes are going to turn over uh, mostly in our area, September, October time frame when the lakes begin to turn over. And by the time that surface temp gets to 55, everything's pretty much settled out. You should have a, you know, a pretty common water temperature from top to bottom. And that allows those fish to go deeper on bait and get set up for this spoon bite. So pay attention to that 55 degree range. Really when it gets down in the lower 50s is when it's optimal. So 48 to 52 is kind of the optimal range for jigging a spoon vertically in the winter time. And obviously this is imitating shad. So we've got um, in this area, you know, thread fin mostly is what people are targeting, but you also have lakes with bluebacks in Georgia and the Carolinas, and they will, they're very receptive to a spoon bite as well. And when we get into the different types of structure and or types of places to look for spoonfish, I'm going to kind of differentiate between, you know, what to look for on a blueback lake for, versus what to look for on a thread fin shad lake, which that's something a lot of people I feel like get confused because bluebacks normally tend to be more open water, more nomadic, but in the wintertime, they will kind of creep up in the creeks and act more like a threadfin shad will. So we'll get into that too as we talk about the types of structure and things. My best colors for cold water, obviously we've got had the silver one up here. I also like to do one with a little bit of gold in it, and then I like a dark colored one. And after we get done, y'all feel free to come up here and check everything out, but I'll show you the, my three favorite colors. Get out of way. So this one is called hollow real shad. It's got a slight, it's almost a play on a sexy shad type color. It's got a little bit of chartreuse, a little bit of blue, but it kind of gives it almost a gold tint to it. That's something I really like in clear water when it's sunny. 